What's up guys, in this video we are going to discuss uh, pros and cons of uh, using love brands, uh, polynomials. So we know that, so what is your experience on this, uh, on love branch polynomial? We know that if you have a data set, right, if you have a data set, it is straightforward to compute the love branch polynomial it is a matter of uh, computing cardinal functions once you have cardinal functions uh, you can write up uh, the Lagrange polynomial so by sign, uh, summing that up with these uh, by adding but with so if you have cardinal functions uh, you can write out the Lagrange uh, polynomial straight away so how do you do that you have to consider this sum right this sum each uh, cardinal function should be multiplied by the corresponding y value and and sum that up that's all right so so that is a one of advantages of uh, using a Lagrange polynomial so uh, so can you think of uh, disadvantages of a Lagrange polynomial so so you know that so all the numerical computation you had to write a code you had to execute a code on the computer so when it comes to a computational part using a computer so i must say uh, computing these cardinal function uh, will be very diff uh, would be the computational cost of computing these cardinal function would be very high by so each uh, so they are different right these cardinal functions are different so so right these are so cardinal functions are different so this takes a lot of time to uh, computer takes lot of time to compute these cardinal functions so therefore that is a negative point of uh, using Lagrange uh, polynomial so you know and the and and when I uh, when I so if you yeah, another uh, disadvantage of uh, using Lagrange polynomial is suppose uh you want to you want to perform your experiment again right then you get another data data point say x say x x sub n plus one so this is a new this is a new data point and the corresponding y value is this so if you want to include this data point to this uh, one so you have to recompute these cardinal functions again that's a negative part of uh, of lag branch polynomial so you have to recompute this one again otherwise you cannot include uh, this data point into your lag branch polynomial so if you want to include this new point you have to recompute recompute this cardinal function and sum that up like this so that is a negative uh, negative thing about uh, about lagrange polynomial so but if you have a data set it is easy to compute because you have to use this a formula and and if you consider this sum then you are done you can find the large branch polynomial but when it comes to computing using a computational part using computer so finding these cardinal uh, function uh, is uh, pretty difficult because they are different each other they are different 
so the computational cost would, would be very high and if you, later after your experiment let's say later you want to add another experiment data into your data set so when you add this data point to your data set you have to recompute these cardinal functions again that's the negative part of uh, uh, lag branch polynomial so i hope uh, you understand i hope you understood uh, pros and cons of lag branch polynomial right all right in my next video i'm going to discuss uh, newton's uh, method newton's uh, newton's divided difference method all right see you i hope you understood uh, the advantages and disadvantages of using Lagrange for you know, I see.